Hi Empress, today I'm going to talk to you about a faucet and how to install it in your amp. Okay, a variable voltage regulator which acts like a faucet. Thank you. Thank you. First thing you want, you actually want to know where you're going to install your VVR kit. Just drill a hole. The kit is really small, fits in snugly right in there. Very nice. A very important thing, the MOSFET needs to be isolated from that chassis. So look for that mica isolator that came in the package. So insulator goes between the chassis and the transistor. I'm using something called thermal joint compound that will help transmit the heat even better to the chassis from the body of the MOSFET. I'll start by applying the compound to one side of the mica insulator and spreading it throughout. Then I'll place it with the compound side on the chassis and lightly press it in place. I'll apply compound now to the metallic side of the MOSFET. Then I'll place it on top of the mica insulator and lightly press it in place. Finally, use a number four screw and nut to fasten it to the chassis. Add the VVR unit, then align the MOSFET terminals to fit through the holes of the board. Make sure to test the terminals for any possible shorts with the chassis. And this would be the right time to solder the terminals to the board. The VVR's connections are B plus in, B plus out, and a ground connection. That's all. I'm using a strip terminal with three connectors to interface the VVR to my amp. One of them a B plus in, a B plus out, and a ground connector. The B plus in comes from the standby switch and will go into my VVR via the B plus in. The B plus out from my VVR will go back to the port on the B plus out and then feeding my amp. Solder the board leads first. Make sure you have a good solder joint by inspecting underneath the board with a mirror. Cut the leads to length and finally solder them to the terminal. Make sure you have all three wires. The B plus leaves the rectifier via the standby switch, enters the VVR, then back from there regulated to the spot where your B plus was initially connected. From the standby switch, once they turn it on, we'll come back and we'll go via this port, which is a three um, connector, one to ground. Uh, from there, I'm going to the VVR's B plus in. Okay, and then from the B plus out, the white wire, I go back, this is the regulated voltage already, I go back to where I'm going to use my B plus in the circuit. In my case, um, one of the capacitors, the filter, uh, filter capacitors right here. And then, don't forget the ground, we have a ground connection going from the board the VVR board to somewhere next to where you collect the grounds for the high voltage for the power transformer uh, ground so it's pretty close to here well this is it I hope this oh, wait, 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 what? Wait, wait, wait. you didn't tell them about the scratchy volume controls well, what does it have to do with the VVR well it does because on a lower VVR amount you might get some DC voltage leaking over to the guitar or amp volume controls making them scratchy so what? So you will need to add a 0.1 microfarad capacitor and move the 1 meg resistor from the inputs. The diagram is in the blog post uh -huh. and the link is in the description below. Hey wait, you look oddly familiar. Do the tweaks if you have scratchy parts at low VVR settings.